The RDO's Electronics and Radar Development Establishment has started fabrication work of the X band gallium nitride based active electronically scanned array radar, and the first unit is expected to be ready by October 2022. And this next generation long range radar can be equipped on the AMCA and twin engine deck based fighter that will enable them to detect low observable stealth fighter jets. The DRDO is taking a modular building block approach and will merge around 2000 transmit receive modules in a quad pack configuration that will simplify system integration process and will also allow rapid first line repair by using standard off the shelf components. The gallium nitride transmit receive modules have a lower power consumption and less heat output and features lower signal to noise ratio and higher gain which means that it will detect very low signals from a long range that will enable it to detect enemy fifth generation fighters after approval from the indian air force the drdo is also developing a scaled up variant of the indigenous advanced esa radar for the super shukhoi program that will have around 1300 transmit receive modules the American F-404 engines planned for 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters have a thrust of 85 kN, and in case the US government denies the delivery of engines due to CATSA sanctions for India's purchase of S-400 system from Russia, India has the option of equipping them with locally assembled French M-882 variant that has a thrust of 73 kN. The F-404 engine weighs 1,109 kg, while the M882 engine variant weighs 896 kg, and the lower weight of the M88 engine will compensate for the loss of thrust in case of Tejas Mark 1A fighters, but it will be grossly underpowered for the 17.5 ton Tejas Mark II fighter, and will affect its weapon and fuel load carrying capacity. Safran has already demonstrated a M884 variant, which had confirmed that the M88's thrust could be increased to 105 kN with afterburner, but France will not offer local assembly of this engine without a large order of Rafale fighters. The Indian Air Force was keen on Rolls-Royce developed EJ200 engines for the Tejas Mark II program, but it had lost out to the American F414 engines on cost. In case of US sanctions, the license manufacture of EJ200 engines by an Indian private sector company will work in India's favor, since the DRDO is already collaborating with Rolls-Royce on the development of a new 110 kN thrust class of engines for the AMCA program that will also be locally produced in India by a private sector company. The Norwegian company Konsberg has developed a helicopter-launched variant of the naval strike missile, which is a fifth-generation high subsonic cruise missile that can be used against both sea and land-based targets. The ship-based variant is already operational in four navies, but India is the first country to purchase the helicopter-launched variant of the naval strike missile for its 24 MH-60 Seahawk helicopters, as the Indian Navy has already placed an indent to procure two naval strike missile emulators and four training missiles for captive air training. The Indian Navy will sign a separate contract with Konsberg for the 185 km naval strike missile that features sophisticated stealth capabilities, and the contract is expected to be concluded once India starts taking deliveries of the MH-60 helicopters. The Indian Army has conducted firepower demonstration of an advanced version of the indigenous main battle tank known as the Arjun Mark I Alpha and other senior officers were also present to check its capabilities in various parameters in the desert area. In the new advanced Arjun Mark I Alpha version, the firing system has been upgraded with automatic fire control system that is capable to launch guided missiles, and it also features 14 more upgraded features including improved gunner's main sight with automatic target tracking. China has developed a new YLC-48 portable multipurpose reconnaissance radar that could be carried by a single soldier and is able to detect low-flying drones and cruise missiles. It uses digital integrated circuits 
and it can also be mounted on all kinds of lightweight platforms, and is capable of locating and tracking a target from any angle in all weather conditions.